Welcome back to Presentation Perfect. Today, I'll be showing you how to create this cool slide animation in PowerPoint using the Morph Transition. Let's get started. These are the three images I'll be using. I sourced them from PowerPoint's own stock image library. We're going to start by making sure all three images are sized to identical dimensions and placed side by side like this. Next, I'm going to select all three and hit Control G to group them then simply resize them so that they take up the whole slide like this. Now go over to Insert, select Shapes, and draw a rectangle. Change the fill color to your liking. I'm going with blue and remove the outline. Then click on the rectangle and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. We're going to do this twice and then place the three shapes side by side. Change the colors to whatever you like. I'm going for green and purple. Now hold shift, select all three rectangles and hit Control G to group them, just as we did for the images. Next, we're going to insert a new rectangle for the content and drag it to size like this. Choose a color that complements each rectangle. I'm picking a darker shade for each. Once you're happy with the colors, you can go ahead and add your content. For this deck, I'm using Century Gothic for the title with a font size of 54 and changing the text color to white. After adding the main content, I'm going to enhance the design by including an icon. You can find a wide range of them in PowerPoint's icons library. I'm also adding a line separator and some additional content here, but you can skip this step if you want. It won't impact the final effect. Now to make working with the content easier when we add the transition, select all the content and the rectangle it's on, then group them. Next, duplicate it twice by pressing Ctrl D and arrange the three rectangles vertically like this. All that's left is to change the colors of the shapes and swap out their content and icons. Now just hold shift, select all three content rectangles and group them. Now duplicate the slide, drag the second content tile into the slide like this, move the corresponding image into the slide, and then drag the green rectangle into the slide as well. Duplicate the slide again and repeat the process. One quick tip, it's best to finalize the content on your first slide before adding the other slides. Otherwise, you'd have to edit it on all three slides separately for the effect to work properly. Finally, hold shift, select all three slides, go to transitions and select morph. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel and drop a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next.